You've been watching Wisconsin Women, and we've been shooting on location today at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse in Middleton, and joining us here today to talk about this is Lee Giraffe. Thanks for hosting us here today. We've had a nice time. Always a pleasure, Stacy. Hello, Lee. Hello, and we love it that you always have the fire on for us, yeah. especially these cold. Nice cold. and warm. Nice yes. to have. Yeah. yeah. So nice. So there's some new things going on here. There's some new menu items coming mm -hmm. on to Ruth's Chris menu. Let's talk about those. Well, you know, it, we're, it's a new menu, but we're just bringing back some of the old stuff from our uh, past New old. Uh, before COVID <laughs> yeah. hit, right? Nice. A lot of restaurants kind of, st I, I, I think all of them did really, to be honest with you, kind of brought out a, a, s a limited menu just to kind of minimize labor and, mm -hmm. and all those things. Mm -hmm. And there was just a lot of unknown, there still is to, yeah. to, a, to a certain degree. And uh, so we're bringing some back of those favorites, you know, our bone-in steaks, um, our bone-in New York strip, which was our founder, Ruth Fertel's favorite, and very flavorful right next to the bone, so it adds even more flavor. Nice. And then the bone-in filet, and then the big guy, uh, usually for two, but sometimes uh, somebody takes on the challenge, the tomahawk, which is an extremely large uh, ribeye, and there's a big bone to it. Kind of oh. like a Fred Flintstone bone. Wow. You know, it's, it's massive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then we're bringing back some other things too, the Brussels sprouts. Oh, I love those, um, yeah. That's, that's kind of it. No, we're bringing up a new item. Uh, it's a uh, goat cheese and artichoke dip, oh, which will be fun good. at the bar. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, good. yeah. yeah. it does. Yeah, we can sample yeah. that after our segment if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Chef hasn't made it yet, so but oh. he, it's coming. <laughs> you know, that the, the thing was is when COVID hit, we had everybody went to a laminated menu, keep things clean, sanitize mm. every menu, you know. Right. Yes. And um, but those have gotten weathered a little bit, and in addition, um, we're just ready to take on that challenge. Yeah. So yeah. Um, we're bringing some more items and and bringing that menu out soon. But in addition to that, I know you were talking about it before we started taping. We're also going to have um, some wine, uh, awesome. new wines on our wine list, so that'll be fun too. Nice. And some drinks, some cocktails for happy hour, and just nice. in the dining room too. Nice, mm -hmm. yeah. And I know that I love uh, several of your appetizers on your menu now: your ahi tuna and your shrimp. And I know there's one that I'm forgetting that I love as well. But um, you're keeping all those great staples, right? You're just adding on to them. Adding on yes. to them. We are taking a little bit off. I mean, like, I know you love the ahi tuna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I saw you eating it the other day. I but that we kind of brought that old one back just a little bit. Mm -hmm. But that's, you know, just because yeah. of the supplies are difficult. And yeah. that's one of them. Uh, we're going to a different uh, style of ahi. People like it, mm -hmm. but people definitely are saying, well, we like the old one. Yeah, yeah so I love the one that I had here the other I saw it and I so said, oh nice. good, I'm glad yeah. you got it. Actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. because, um, and it has like a little bit of a bite to it, which mm -hmm. I like. Yeah, and you can yes. add a little wasabi if you want to it too. It, yeah. Well, it tastes like wasabi, that, that yeah. but it's really just beer and mustard mixed oh a little bit dry gosh. mustard. And yeah, it's interesting, but it does have that flavor to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And what I love too is that you guys have such a great selection of wine. I like it when I ask for a recommendation, which I just found out you do it for everyone, that you give yes. them a <laughs> great wine, a great wine recommendation, depending on what they're eating, or if they like red or white or Absolutely. or blush or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's so nice. And if our staff's not that aware of it, you, we'll always have somebody here that that can help you yeah. without any question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never stumped anyone. They all seem to know. Yeah, well, I mean, I they're very, so. very helpful. They know more than I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's nice to know. You know, mm -hmm. which isn't difficult to do. Yeah. <laughs> If you want to impress your date or something with yeah. your knowledge of wine, you can yeah. secretly <laughs> ask at a time. Yeah, <laughs> which, which one should I get? Oh and gosh. speaking of that, and this is Valentine's season. It must be a really mm. busy time for you guys. A very to, busy time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, at this time, we're we're always kind of controlling things, right? December was really hard, but you know now January, everybody's kind of recuperated a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. You know, got their feet back under them, and and uh, things are going smooth. It, January generally is a little bit slower. We're still busy. But not like December and the holidays and yeah. just everything that was going on. Yeah. And and the staffing is kind of coming around a little bit. I noticed that on the news a little bit. Uh, that that's kind of coming in. It's evident just in, in our restaurant a little bit too. We we've always had this core group, but um, it's it's there it, knocking on the door at least. We don't really need so many positions, but it's there. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's encouraging for everybody. Yeah, yeah that's that, is, that mm -hmm. is really nice. And it is nice, like you said, a lot of people or probably most restaurants had to streamline 
prior to you know their menu items prior or after when COVID started and now that you're able to bring that back I think that's just a great sign that maybe we're we're kind of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel a little bit yeah, yeah. and I think you know after the winter season uh, some of this COVID stuff will go down a little bit just naturally because mm. the flu season's over and yeah. we'll gain a little more confidence and um, hopefully we're all in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. We can and we can get back on the patio. Yeah. Is that what yeah. you were just going to say? <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. totally, totally get back oh. out there on the patio. And even when it's like, you know, in the 60s, 50s, you still have that fireplace on for us, so we can still sit out there, yeah. Well, the great thing about that fireplace is even though it's not used mm -hmm. during the winter, uh, it is the fireplace, but not yeah. the patio. Yeah. It, it offers great ambiance yes. inside the bar, yeah. which yeah. it already has great ambiance, but just that mm -hmm. fire is just nice to see. It's warm. It's and nice. really the whole place has great ambiance yeah. too let's yeah. let's not kid ourselves yeah. it's beautiful here well thanks so yeah. much for hosting thank us you. here today thank you. and thank pleasure. you for watching we will see you next time